The EU's announcement coincided with the fifth anniversary of Russia's annexation of the Crimean Peninsula and was coordinated with the United States and Canada. The two countries also introduced new sanctions. The Russian side will not leave this unfriendly action by the European Union unanswered, the foreign ministry said in a statement. The EU's claim that Russia broke international law and used unjustified force does not correspond with reality at all, the ministry said. The excuse for placing our fellow countrymen on the European Union's illegitimate sanctions lists amazes with its hypocrisy and cynicism, it added, saying the individuals targeted were simply doing their jobs. The EU's decision takes the number of people blacklisted by the bloc over the crisis in Ukraine to 170, plus 44 entities.